Hi, and welcome to the Chocolate Academy Online. Today we're going to do a basic brownie finger. What we want from this is a nice soft texture, a good chocolate flavour and a good presentation. Very simple, very easy to make. We'll be using some techniques such as putting um, potato starch into the mix to make it a, a softer texture. This is going to cut the gluten strands and give it a nice tender feel to it. We will start by making the basic brownie mix, then some simple chocolate decoration and then we'll be assembling them. Let's get started. Let's start by making the base brownie mix. You will need the following ingredients. 208 grams of butter. 208 grams of Calabot's H11 dark chocolate. 162 grams of sugar. 162 grams of dark brown sugar. 51 grams of Calabot cocoa powder CP776. 115 grams of all-purpose flour. 62 grams of potato starch. 2 grams of sea salt, 231 grams of whole eggs at room temperature. You will need the following utensils. Melt together the butter and the chocolate in the microwave in 30 second bursts. Mix well using a spatula until all the chocolate is melted. Add the dry ingredients and whisk well between each addition. Potato starch will cut the gluten strands and give a smoother texture to the brownie. Then add the eggs at the end. Whisking by hand is better as it prevents from getting too much air into the preparation and therefore ending up with a light texture which will dry out. Brownies should be dense and moist. Place the batter into a piping bag. Pipe into the mould and bake at 160 degrees for 12 minutes. Once baked, place into the freezer until completely cold for about 30 minutes. Once cooled, unmold the brownies and place them on a metal tray lined with parchment paper. Place in the refrigerator and reserve for the assembly. We are now ready for the chocolate rectangles. You will need 200 grams of Calibo 811 dark chocolate. You will need the following utensils. Pour some pre-crystallized chocolate onto a guitar sheet and spread it out evenly to obtain a thin layer using an offset spatula. Let it set for a few minutes until the chocolate doesn't stick anymore to your fingers. Remove the guitar sheet from the table and place onto a chocolate guitar cutter. Using a metal scraper, press down the plastic onto the guitar cutter to make lines of 2 cm. Remove the chocolate sheet and place onto the marble table and cut using a knife, using the guitar cutter wires as a guideline. Cut into rectangles of about 12 cm long. Place a second guitar sheet on top of the decorations and then put between two metal plates. Then leave to crystallize in the refrigerator for around one hour at 16 degrees. We will now make the chocolate shaving decorations. You will need the following ingredients. 200 grams of Calibo 811 dark chocolate. You will need the following utensils. Pour some pre-crystallized chocolate onto the marble table. Using a spatula, spread it out evenly to form a thin layer. Leave to crystallize for a few minutes until the chocolate is almost solid. Using a scraper, delicately scrape the chocolate and spread the decorations out onto a metal tray lined with a silk hat. Place 
place into the refrigerator for at least one hour at 16 degrees. We are now ready for the final assembly. We will need the following ingredients. 50 grams of Calabot 811 dark chocolate. We will need the following utensils. Remove the guitar sheet from the top of the chocolate decorations. Using a paper cone, add a small dot of chocolate on top of the brownie and place the rectangle decoration on top. Pressing it gently so it sticks to the brownie. Place a second dot of chocolate into the middle of the chocolate bar and add the shaving decorations on top. So there you have it, a simple brownie finger. We uh, started off making the basic brownie mix it's got a good chocolate flavour, nice tender structure to it. And then we did some chocolate uh, decorations, quite simple, easy to make. This is something very efficient, your clients will absolutely love it. Please, if you make this, feel free to share it on the Chocolate Academy Online community and also on social media. Thank you.